What's going on guys, Jack Shepard here and on today's video I want to talk to you guys all about why when entrepreneurs start their personal brands, why about 99% actually go on to fail. Now there's a few good reasons why this is, so I wanted to break them down to you guys on today's video to help you out. Ultimately, I want to help as many entrepreneurs across the world start their personal brands and make a huge success of it. Now, so there's a few reasons. I'm gonna jump into my computer in a second and help that help you guys out and show you exactly what to avoid when you are starting your personal brands or if you already have a personal brand, what you need to avoid, okay? Personal branding is such a big opportunity in 2018 right now. You all need to be starting yours and if you're not already, just blow it up. Get into personal branding. It's what you need to do. It's the biggest opportunity we all have. Okay, so let's hop into my computer. I'm super excited about today's video. So make sure you stick to the very, very end where I'm gonna break everything down to help you guys out. So let's jump straight into my computer. So guys, here on my computer, and I wanna break it down to you right this second. So number one, why 99% of entrepreneurs fail when starting their personal brands? It's simple, let's make this a bit bigger right now, but it's simple, they don't monetize early enough. The problem is guys, people start their personal brands, you know, they put out loads of content and they decide, let's monetize a bit later down the road, okay? But you know, we're all entrepreneurs, we're all here to effectively make money is one of our major goals as entrepreneurs, because we need to make money, we need to make profit to sustain our businesses. And what a lot of personal brands do is wait and wait and wait to monetize, and by the time that they actually get there, they've sort of given up because it's not been a viable business product or idea because they're not making money from it and they don't monetize early enough. You know, people have limiting beliefs about personal brands thinking, I can't monetize straight away. I've not put out enough content. Not enough people are watching me to even consider buying my products. Let's not, let's wait and monetize a bit later. You know, firstly, that could be a problem because you know, that could, you could wait three months and you've just lost three months of revenue. You know, that's a huge reason in itself. Or the second reason why it's an absolutely huge issue is not monetizing early enough is that, you know, you might get discouraged. You're not making that, you're not making any money from your channel. You know, you're not making any money from AdSense. You might not even be including affiliate links in your, your channel and you're just holding back and then you get discouraged and then you fall off from actually continue, continuing with your personal brand. You stop making videos. You, you decide it's not what you know what's making money for you right now, so you're gonna to stick to your existing business. One way to get around this is monetizing early. Creating a course after about 30 days of starting your personal brand, you know, creating affiliate offers, doing coaching calls, all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of money to be made from very, very early on with your personal brand. My friend Brad Riley, who's been on my channel, I speak with him quite a lot outside of YouTube and you know that sort of thing as well. And you know, when he had 500 subscribers, he actually had made $10,000 from his personal brand. He had 500 subscribers, guys. Anyone can go out there and get 500 subscribers with some good work, you know, good solid hard work with some good content. You know, and then he monetized early, before 500 subscribers. Most people wait till they have a few thousand subscribers, but guess what? He made 10K in 500 subscribers, guys. You need to start now. You need to start monetizing early on with your personal brands. Create a viable business out of it, because that is gonna encourage you to put more time, more effort, deliver better products, deliver more content, and be a better personal brand in general. So, point number two is they don't have a mentor, okay? Mentors are so important. I've invested huge amounts of money in mentors myself, and they're helping me get to exactly where I need to be, okay? We all have a vision in our minds. We all understand our potential, but sometimes it needs someone else there directing us to say, don't do this, do this. You know, they've they've done the blueprint, they've, they've created a plan that's worked for them and that can be replicable and scaled. And that is what you need in any business, you know, whether you do drop shipping, Shopify, Amazon FBA, 
SMMA, anything that you do, you should be looking out there to get a mentor to guide you and show you the exact way that you need to take your business, your personal brand, and take that direction, follow the plan, and you will succeed ultimately. Okay, and that's why there's courses out there. That's why I have my course out there because people requested it. That's why other people have courses out there because it genuinely helps people get to where they want to be, you know. If you want to do have a successful Shopify um, store, and you need to be following along someone and learning from someone that's doing exactly what you want to do right this second. It's really as simple as that, okay? In anything, any walk of life, we look for a trainer. Whether we do sports, we have a coach. You know, we've done been and learn from someone that's been there and done that and show us the path, show us the vision, make it clear for us, and let us just follow along from that and be successful ourselves. Number three is not being consistent enough, okay? I mean, this ties back into almost on the first um, section as well, and don't monetize early enough, but not being consistent enough. You know, you might be monetizing, right? You might have a course out there, you might have products, you might have affiliate offers, you might do coaching, but guess what? You're just not being consistent enough with your personal brand. You need to be consistent, and this is, you know, across the levels, across the platforms, you need to be doing regular content so you are sticking in the minds of your audience consistently. Okay, I've been a bit slower the last few weeks, but that's because I've been developing a lot of free training to help you guys out with your personal brands. I obviously have my course, but I wanna develop more free training to help you guys get to a point where you wanna be. So if you have massive value from that, then you go, great, I wanna get Jack's course ultimately because you've understood the value that you've received for free and then you want to get into my high ticket thing because you know that's going to propel you and I can be your mentor and the person that's going to show you the path okay so not being consistent enough doing really regular uploads now I'm putting my mind in a right place now to do seven videos a day. I've just moved into a new apartment as well. My old apartment just simply wasn't good enough to record videos in it but now the new one I'm going to be recording some videos there, so you guys are going to see that very, very soon as well. But, you know, on weekends, it gives me an easy platform, an easy place to record videos. Because I'm in my office right now, which is like um, 15 minutes away from my apartment. But when I'm at, at home, effectively, on the weekend, chilling, I can just put up a video because I've got the space now to do it. You know, some, some videos during the week, I'm gonna do it as well. So being consistent, staying in the mind of your audience, delivering as much value as possible, you know, keep it to the real, real good stuff and really plan and prepare what content you're putting out there so you can deliver as much as you possibly can to your audience. And finally, this is point number four. I wanna leave you on this one, okay? This is a super important one that I see time and time again that people just ignore these things, okay? Number four is sticking to just one platform, okay? I see many YouTubers out there just putting out content on YouTube, expecting to grow, expecting to build a personal brand, and expecting to build mass awareness. It's not gonna happen, guys. You need to be developing all your different platforms, okay? So for, for me, with my personal brand, the main things that I'm concentrating on is, of course, this YouTube channel that you're watching right now, my Instagram account, which is on 108,000 followers now, my Facebook group, which I post very regular content in there as well, and I've just started to grow my messenger list, and I'm gonna be developing my email list as time goes by as well. These are so key to build up, okay? Great, you know, I might, let's say I record a video seven days a week to help you guys out and bring that out on my YouTube channel, but you know, you don't log on to YouTube every single day. Ultimately, I don't log on to YouTube every single day. Other people, they may watch um, some YouTube videos on a Monday, but they're busy on Tuesday evening. They don't have time to sit down for an hour and watch and absorb some value and content on YouTube. But guess what? They've got their phone out and they're flicking through Instagram. They're flicking through Facebook, you know. They're flicking through their email. It's important you put yourself in front of your audience on multiple different platforms. Because ultimately, people don't go on the, every single platform 
every single day. You know, you might hit them on Instagram, you might hit them in the stories, but you know, they're not gonna see your YouTube video. But that's fine because you are staying consistently in the mind of your audience every single day as time goes by. So you wanna be putting out content daily across every single platform if possible. That's obviously the dream to achieve for any um, personal brand when putting out content is daily content across every single platform, value across every single platform, and really helping people as much as you possibly can, delivering value, delivering consistency, and keeping yourself in the mind of your customer. Now, especially when you have a course out or you have products out, it's super important to also mention your product as well. I see so many times people scared to talk about their course or scared to be too promoting or too promo-y about their course, about their products. But ultimately, it's important. Like I've said again, with being consistent enough, you want to be consistently talking about your product because if you don't talk about your product, and I've tried this myself to test this out myself, when I didn't talk about my product for about a week, my sales went down, okay? But when I started talking about my product more, putting in minds of people a bit more, guess what? The sales go up ultimately. So you need to be either talking about it using your personal brand or creating some sort of automated webinar or challenge or funnel of some sorts that's doing the work for you of talking about your product, okay? But talking about your product, being consistent, you know, developing your other platforms, having a mentor and monetize early so you actually stick at this whole personal branding thing because it's such a huge opportunity and I push everyone to start their personal brand. Whether you buy my course or not, I don't care. I'm gonna be bringing out so much value on this channel to help you guys out. Ultimately, that is my mission in life, to help more people out before in my old business, it was just me in an office and a few members of staff. I wasn't fulfilled, I wasn't helping people out. I was just selling a product, delivering it, and that was it. But now I can really make impact as a personal brand, helping other personal brands and entrepreneurs really fulfill their dreams and goals within their businesses. And I'm sure you guys know that personal branding is huge right now. You watch, you don't just watch me, you watch other YouTubers probably in the similar sort of space. And I'm sure you know that they probably have a course and they're making a shit ton of money from doing it guys. So, you know, listen up, apply these tips when you're starting your personal brand and really, really go for it because it is huge. Okay, but guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I'm gonna be doing seven days a week now. I really, really wanna crush that to bring as much value. Be as consistent as possible, and it really helps YouTube growth as well, of course. So guys, if you've enjoyed today's video and you're new around here, smash that subscribe button, give it a like, drop a comment. I'm always in the comment section replying to every single one of you. Thanks very much, do what I say, follow these instructions, subscribe to me, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video.